this is a real life power loader created by Hacksmith Industries. And in 3D Experience World 2024, the one and only Master Chief will have a chance to actually drive it. Today we are in Dallas, Texas for 3D Experience World 2024. I'm Brad and this is Master Chief and we're part of the YouTube channel Impact Props. But today we are taking over SolidWorks' YouTube channel to show you what 3D Experience World 2024 is all about. <laughs> 3D Experience World is a convention put on by the folks at Dassault Systems, where engineers and makers from all around the world come together in the name of 3D design. And there's also some incredible creators that came out this year. Jeremy Fielding, Titans of CNC, Hacksmith Industries, Tolga, Carlos 3D Print, The Core Podcast, and many, many more. Incredible people. It's so cool that my channel is included in that list. There's also some amazing things here at 3D Experience World 2024, like fully electric muscle cars, robots, CNC machines, and even an actual Cybertruck. But first, let's check out the biggest attraction here at the show, and that is the Power Loader by Hacksmith Industries. This is Bogdan and Ben from Hacksmith Industries, and they came all the way out here to Dallas from Toronto with this Power Loader. I followed all their build videos, and it is so insane to see this thing in person. And the craziest part is that we will actually get to drive it at the end of this video. At least we hope so. Okay, wait, 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 wait. right now it's 50 50 if the convention center will allow us to drive it. So Matt Clegg has some work to do. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But since it's day one here at the show, general session is just just about to start, and we can't miss that. And that's where the CEO gives a big talk, there's keynote speakers, it's really awesome. But one of the really unique pieces about this is everybody lines up at the door, and there's a big sea of engineers, and as soon as they open that door, everybody just runs in. So we definitely wanna be a part of this, and make sure that Chief does not fall, right? That's the number one rule. Do not fall when you're running with the nerds. Is that a good way to put it, running with the nerds? I feel like that's a derogatory. No, we're all nerds. We're all nerds here? Yeah, brain systems. I implore you to move out of the way. We're going in hot. Oh! Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The running of the nerds was as exciting as expected. <laughs> hey, so if you could refrain from getting on people's laps, that would probably be the best. We are having a good time at the K Beatty Hutchison in the 3D Experience World. And while we're here, we have a backstage pass to show you guys what it looks like behind the scenes of General Session. There's tons of cameras, tons of computers, plus all the speakers hang out back here right before they go on stage. And I promise, they're not stressing out. You up next? Yep, talking about a company called Proteus Motion. I spoke at General Session a few years back and I was absolutely not stressing out back here at all. No way, no, no, not me, not me. But General Session has some incredible speakers talking about the future of engineering which is always exciting. For our main stage speakers, Dr. Lonnie Johnson joined us for Monday's general session, best known as the inventor of the Super Soaker water gun. Anisu Muthana was also a speaker, who is the CEO of Precision Grinding and CNC Machining Business. She is a hands-on leader with extensive experience in almost every aspect of a production machining environment. And finally, the closing keynote is Patty Lowe, the founder and CEO of the fossil-free synthetic fuel company, Zero. There was so much to learn in all of the general sessions this year. Definitely a highlight of the show. I think it's always cool to see the behind the scenes of some of these big productions that we got going on. Now, let's check out the Hive, which is the center point of the entire convention. What's Where's up, Master Chief? Chief? Where's Chief on this painting? Where you're right, you're right about here. This is a place where people meet, relax, and hang out. And this year, they have a whole musical instrument set up that, of course, we had to try. <laughs> Now, let's check out the rest of the playground, starting with the Maker Zone. My channel is called Impact Props, and we make replica props and costumes and do crazy stuff with the creations that we make. So I fit right in here at the Maker Zone. The Maker Zone is dedicated to the hobbyists that use SolidWorks to make awesome things. We have a molding and casting station, animatronic droids, robot battles, and so much more. Building robots. Robots? You can have it if you want. Anything for Master Chief. People are gonna come in, they're gonna make some wheels. They're then gonna work with Matt over there and assemble a droid. We're making, uh, if you complete the entire maker space, you can earn yourself a Copper Sheriff's badge. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Kelly, right. could you tie him up? Ten, maybe a little. Okay, okay. So we wanna mix it quite a moderate speed, but we don't wanna kind of whip too much air in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, go for it, that does work. Look away. How does, how does that work? Custom made Very. Railcore printer that I built. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm uh, yeah. All my Mario training for this moment. <laughs> right here. Oh! oh! Dang it! 
<laughs> combat Robot Club. We've got uh, some full combat stuff from other local Texas builders. If we don't break at least one set of lights, then I failed you. Oh my god! Oh, big pen from green! In addition to the makerspace, there's also all kinds of other attractions. You can print a really big Master Chief helmet in there. Right. You always make the biggest bobblehead for Master Chief. You've got a Calabra robot uh, welder. In general, from a force standpoint, this robot's not going to hurt you like a, like a traditional uh, industrial robot welder. Is there a baby in there? I'm a fresh daddy, and I'm running around, and all of a sudden, oh! Gerald! I forgot my baby. Shoot, rats. Hey, what? man. But with this AI baby stroller, I'm not a terrible parent. Downhill, we'll limit the speed so we're not chasing after a loose stroller. Yeah. And then if you push it away, it actually comes to a stop. My baby would be riding in style if I had this. <laughs> this is our plane, um, designed in SolidWorks mainly, but it was a lot of stuff, and uh, we, had a, we had a really great time doing it. We're probably rocketry, so we're like those guys, but we do rocket. Do you blow stuff up on accident? Yeah. We do both. And then we ran into the one and only Carlos 3D print, and he makes epic Iron Man costumes along with animatronics to make it actually function. His faceplate can even open and close, which is awesome. Antonio Stark. <laughs> we get one of these now. You better listen. Oh no. Luckily we got paints. Not this paint. You're always gonna look at that mark now and think of me. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's happening. Oh. Finally working, right? <laughs> I want to see a fight <laughs> to death. So this is our uh, 1968 Camaro E Camaro. We've basically taken an old car and made it as modern and as fast as possible uh, using you know new OEM technology. Zero to 60 in just under three seconds. So we're gonna do a ramp test on Zwift. This is more mere mortals get destroyed by this, but I think you're gonna be totally fine. <laughs> Yes, come on! Don't you dare stop! Don't you dare stop! Don't you dare stop! Don't give up on me, Master Chief! Come on, that was pretty good. Now it's time to check out the user sessions portion of this event. With nearly 4,000 people attending and over 200 user sessions and meetups, there is something for absolutely everyone here. User sessions for every level of SolidWorks user covering design, manufacturing, simulation, and governance. If you want to learn something new about SolidWorks, this is the place to do it. Now it's time to take a look at the breakout sessions that happens here at 3D Experience World 2024. The main two that I went to were the Champion Summit and the Swagin Leader Summit. SolidWorks champions are a global community of individuals celebrated for their passion, expertise, and advocacy for the SolidWorks software. Now, Swagin is short for SolidWorks User Group Network. The Swagin Summit features many of the leaders of over 150 active user groups from around the world. Swagin leaders create spaces for SolidWorks users in their region to network, share tips and tricks, and nerd out about SolidWorks. Amazing people with amazing missions on the front line of innovation in our industry. So it's really cool to be there for that. Another exciting part of this event is Certification Sunday. Certification Sunday kicks off this whole event where attendees are able to take over 17 certification exams. You can even take the exam to become a certified SolarWorks expert for free. This year, over 152 certification exams were taken, which is insane. But then we got wind of something really epic that was happening just outside the convention center. This is an actual Cybertruck. And at the time of filming this video, there were no Cybertrucks trucks on the streets at all. So this is very, very special. Oh, you need to sit in this. Man, I don't even know what to say. Pretty comfy. Le I like the leather, the sunroof. I think this is the future. The windshield wipe is like this, dude. <laughs> that's that's like that's like this. <laughs> that is one big windshield wiper right there. <laughs> These guys keep talking about like relays and... Because the high voltage runs at 800 and 400, all the inverters also need to be capable of running at 400 volts too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the AC can... <laughs> <laughs> We're headed to Titan CNC shop right now with a bunch of other YouTubers to have some dinner. So that's gonna be awesome. And your comments. He's gonna tell us about his CNC machines and his business and how he creates awesome tutorials and really pushes the boundaries of those machines. <laughs> All aboard, bus driver. <laughs> what, was that Jonathan Tibbetts? <laughs> 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 Titan and his team are all hardcore SOLIDWORKS users. And with the help of 3D design, they're pushing the limits of CNC machines.
Now it's time for the Tuesday night event. It's pretty good right here. I think we're in the right place at the right time. Every year, the Tuesday night event is a huge favorite. This year, SolidWorks took over Gilly's Dallas for an exclusive party just for 3D Experience World attendees. This event is a great way to unwind great food and drinks and tons of activities to choose from, like a silent disco, karaoke, live bands, DJs, glow-in-the-dark ping pong, and much, much more. This is definitely a highlight of the event. With the Tuesday night event behind us, now it's time for the thing you've been waiting for. Hey, Chief. Wake up, wake up, dude. Today's the day. Are you ready to see Master Chief drive this power loader? All right, Bogdan, I think now is the time. All right, we'll give you a rundown on the controls. I mean, you, you're familiar with triggers before. <laughs> this, this was a little different. Oh yeah, give him the book. Read through, make sure you're gonna do it safely. And here's the reading, you got 10 minutes. He's a quick reader. Okay, now it's finally time for Master Chief to drive the power loader. But in all seriousness, safety is our number one concern. So Bogdan ran Chief on how to drive the power loader. And while he was doing that, a crowd started to form. This is going to be epic. Next, Ben and Bogdan released the locks and conducted the final test before turning on the power loader. Disconnect ground support. <laughs> We're gonna do it. And finally, it was time. Red button means stop. I thought it was a jet. Keep your arms and legs in the attraction at all times. <laughs> this is freaking epic, dude. <laughs> Sacrificial <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> I'm expecting him just to send it off into the distance. <laughs> yeah, he's just gone. He's just gone forever. He's running, I have dude. my finger on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm a manual control. He's driving it. Right oh, yeah. His first time, he's never driven it before. <laughs> I've been here 30 years and I ain't never seen nothing like this. <laughs> he doesn't go in part measures, the Chief, does he? No, he he just dives right in. Dude, he's like actually getting the hang of it right now. <laughs> yeah. I thought we had a runaway power loader for a second, guys. Seeing Jeep drive this mech was absolutely insane, and it is the perfect place to wrap this video up. There are many things that separate 3D Experience World from the crown, but the thing I've experienced year after year is the amazingness of the SolidWorks community. People from all across the world come out to 3D Experience World every single year in the name of 3D design, but also because of the people that come. I've met all kinds of 3D designers and manufacturers over the years that I've been. I've created lifelong friends here at 3D Experience World, and every year the relationships get stronger and stronger. SolidWorks is all about Learning and bringing the engineers that are leading the charge and in innovation together. When great minds get together, amazing things tend to happen. And of course, as you've seen in this video, 3D Experience World is just so much fun. So if you haven't been to 3D Experience World in person, I suggest you do so. And next year's convention is going to be insane. And it's located in Houston on February 23rd through 26, 2025. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you come next year to 3D Experience World 2025.